Okay, now uh, we are going to learn about uh, units. So what is a unit? It is a definite magnitude of a quantity used as a standard for measurement of the same kind of quantity. So what is unit? It is a definite magnitude of a quantity. If you are defining unit for the mass, right? Then here quantity is mass. So if you take a definite amount, suppose this much, like for some quantity, this much amount. It's a definite amount, definite magnitude of a quantity used as a standard. And now we will say, okay, this much mass is one kilogram. Like the masses you can see in the measurements at the shops. So one kilogram is written on that and that is a definite mass. That is a definite mass. And that one is used as a standard in the measurement of the same kind of quantity. Suppose you want to make the measurement of mass of the sugar, of the rice. So हर बार जो है वो एक एक किलोग्राम मास का जो अपन एक स्टैंडर्ड यूज करते वो क्या है उसका यूनिट है वन किलोग्राम वन किलोग्राम मतलब इतना मास एक फिक्स कर दिया तो ये जो फिक्स करे हुआ जो अमाउंट है उसको क्या बोलते हैं यूनिट सो इट इज ए डेफिनेट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए क्वांटिटी यूज्ड एज ए स्टैंडर्ड फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ द सेम काइंड ऑफ क्वांटिटी so for example take length length of a length of a cloth is 5 meter so here length what is length length is a physical quantity this length is a physical quantity physical quantity we can represent this physical quantity by capital Q so length is a physical quantity of a cloth cloth is object is 5 meter what is 5 5 is called as its magnitude magnitude so this 5 is called as its magnitude, magnitude of length, magnitude of length. And we may represent this magnitude by n, small n. And then meter, here m is the symbol for meter. So what is this meter? Meter is the unit of length. So meter is unit and we will represent by small u. So all the quantities are represented in terms of their magnitude and the unit. So how we can write? We can write the quantity q that is the length is equal to 5 meter but 5 is magnitude and meter is U. So in general, we can represent quantity Q as N U. So that is N is the magnitude and U is the unit. So now So this unit can be classified in terms of the quantities. So we have already in my last video, I explained about the two types of physical quantities, fundamental and derived quantities. So we know the fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities. 
and second one is derived quantity. So these are the two types of physical quantities, fundamental quantities and derived quantities. So the units of fundamental quantities are called as fundamental unit. So units of fundamental quantities are called as fundamental units. And units of derived quantities, they are called as derived units. They are called as derived units. And in my that video, I have explained you the seven fundamental quantities. Let us take an example as length, mass. Time. So length, mass and time, these are not fundamental units, be clear, length, mass and time, these are not fundamental units, length, mass and time, these are fundamental quantities. Now length is measured in meter. Mass is measured in kilogram, time is measured in second, so meter, kilogram and second, these are not fundamental quantities, meter, kilogram and second are fundamental units, so length, mass and time are fundamental quantities. And unit of these fundamental quantities, meter, kilogram and second, they are called as a fundamental units. So let us now hear an example of uh, volume. Force, velocity, So, volume, force and velocity, these are not derived units. Volume, force and velocity, these are derived quantities. Now, volume is measured in meter cube. Force, you can measure in Newton. Velocity, meter per second. So now the meter cube, meter is a fundamental unit, but meter cube is a derived unit because it is a unit of direct quantity. Newton is a derived unit because it is a unit of direct quantity. Meter per second is a derived unit because it is a unit of direct quantity. So, volume, force and velocity are derived quantities. Meter cube, Newton, meter per second, these are derived units. Uh, now we will see about the system of units. So there are many system of units, but uh, uh, basically three system of units uh, we are normally studying in our syllabus. And one more one one more uh, more one is uh, uh, fourth one is also there but that includes uh, all the quantities first of all three types of uh, systems we are studying these are related to only fundamental quantities so we are studying these three systems which are related with the fundamental quantities 
and the fourth one is related to or fundamental it includes fundamental as well as derived quantities but these three systems which we are going to study now they includes only fundamental quantity that two only three fundamental quantities so first one is cgs system second one is mks system and third one is fps system first one is cgs system second one is mks system and third one is fps system now in cgs system of units c stands for centimeter this c stands for centimeter g stands for gram g stands for gram s stands for second likewise in mk system m stands for meter m stands for meter k stands for kilogram n s stands for second yes stands for second now fps system f stands for foot f stands for foot p stands for pound and s stands for second so these are three system of units which you have to be you have to memorize these three c stands for what g stands for what k stands for what m stands for what now centimeter is the unit of length so we can write like this length unit of length in fps system is foot unit of length in mks system is meter unit of length in cgs system is centimeter then mass unit of mass in fps system is pound in mks system it is kilogram and in cgs system it is gram then time unit of time in mks system is fps system is second in mks system is also second and in cgs system is also second so here you have to note down that this length mass and time these three are fundamental quantities one thing and so this system of units are related with the fundamental quantities secondarily the quantity which is having the same unit in all three types of systems is time time is that quantity whose unit is same in fps system in mks system and in cgs system in all three system the unit of time is same and that is second so in cgs system c stands for centimeter centimeter is the unit of length g stands for gram gram is the unit of mass s stands for second second is the unit of time in mks system m stands for meter meter is the unit of length k stands for kilogram and kilogram is the unit of mass and s stands for second in fps system f stands for foot and foot is the unit of length 
P stands for pound and pound is the unit of mass and S stands for time. Now, one kilogram is equal to thousand gram. One kilogram is equal to thousand gram. And one pound is approximately equal to 0 0.45 kilogram. 0 0.45 kilogram. And one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. And one foot. So one foot is nearly equal to 30 centimeter. One foot is nearly equal to 30 centimeter. You see the scales normally, the big scales are of 30 centimeter and if you keep like this one foot, it will be one foot. So, these are the conversion factors. Now, this M case, 1 kilogram is 1000 gram. So, kilogram is the bigger unit. And gram is the smaller unit. Because 1 kilogram is 1000 gram. So, kilogram is bigger unit and gram is a small unit. 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So, meter is a big unit and centimeter is a small unit. Now, keeping this in mind, and the first one I taught you about the quantity Q is equal to N into U. Now I am going to derive one relation about that. So, quantity Q is equal to N into U. Quantity is our like length. Right? 5. So, N. Length, quantity, Q. 5 is the magnitude and it is N. And meter. 5 meter is U. So, Q is equal to N into U. This Q is equal to N into U. So, Q is constant. So, N U is equal to constant. We are talking about one fundamental quality Q. So, N U is equal to constant. Okay. N U is constant. Then, what we can write n1 u1 is equal to n2 u2 where u1 is unit in one system and u2 is unit in another system and n1 is magnitude of that quantity in the system of u1 n2 is the magnitude of that quantity in the system of u2 so as n u is equal to constant what we can write n is equal to constant divided by u will come down u will come down so what is the relation between the magnitude and its unit they are inversely proportional they are inversely proportional if the unit is small magnitude will be more if the unit is more magnitude will be small magnitude will be small now if you see if you take on some length constant and we are talking about that constant length suppose you have taken length as a 5 meter you have taken the cloth whose length is 5 meter 5 meter cloth so now this 5 meter is fixed now just we are talking the same thing in different units n1 u1 n2 u2 so now we are talking in different units. 
So our units are changing, but the cloth is not changing. The cloth is same. For the same cloth, for the same cloth and for the same length, 5 meter, we are talking in different units. We are measuring it in different units. So their product N and U will remain constant. And they will be inversely proportional to each other. Let us see how it comes. So length is 5 meter. Length is 5 meter. Now we want to convert, we want to use another system. We know that meter is in MKS system. This is in MKS system. Meter is in MKS system. Now we want to say the same thing in different system, in CGS system. So CGS system, you need a centimeter. So how you will write 5 will be it is it and it is here 1 meter but 1 meter is 100 centimeter 100 centimeter so this will be in CGS system so this is our N1 meter MK system unit is U1 this is equal to 5 is 5 into 100 so this will be 500 centimeter so this 500 is n2 this is the magnitude in this system and centimeter is u2 centimeter is u2 so 5 meter is equal to 500 centimeter so both are equal or not both are equal 5 meter and 500 centimeter is one and the same thing and that's why we are writing N1, U1 is equal to N2, U2. This product remains same. N1 changes, U1 changes, but their product remains same. So N1, U1 is equal to N2, U2. And this is 5. N1 is 5. U1 is meter is U1. Here 500 is N2 and centimeter is U2. Now you can see this. N and U, they are inversely proportional. You know that meter is a bigger unit. U1 is greater than U2. U2 is centimeter. You now you are comparing U1 and U2. U1 is meter. And U2 is centimeter. Which one is bigger one? Meter is bigger than centimeter. Bigger unit. So we will write like this. U1 is greater than U2. But U and N, they are inversely proportional. If U1 is greater than U2, then surely N1 should be less than N2. And you can see here, N1 is how much? 5. And N2 is how much? 500. So, here N1 is 5 and here N2 is 500. So if U1 is greater than U2, then N1 will be less than N2. Because N and U, they are inversely proportional. If unit is bigger, magnitude will be small. If unit is small, like centimeter, magnitude will be more, 500. Let us take one more example to make this relation more clear. Suppose in one bag from the from a Kirana shop, uh, you brought uh, suppose 10 kilogram sugar. So now in your bag, the amount of the sugar is same. When you are bringing to the house, then amount of the sugar is same. Now you can tell in two different ways to your father how much sugar you brought. You can tell I brought 10 kilogram sugar or what you can tell 10 into 1000 gram sugar so you can tell I brought 10,000 gram sugar 10,000 gram sugar so, is 
they are different statements this is 10 this is 10000 this is kilogram this is gram but their product 10 kilogram this is 1000 gram that product is same how much sugar you brought there is no difference in the 10 kilogram or 10000 gram only units and magnitudes are changed but the quantity is remaining same so what we can write on this in this case this 10 will be our n1 this kilogram will be u1 10,000 will be N2 and gram will be U2. So if you compare U1 and U2, what is U1? U1 is kilogram. What is U2? U2 is gram. So which one is bigger unit? So of course, kilogram is bigger than a gram. So you will write like this. Now you compare their magnitudes for U1. For U1, the magnitude is 10. And for U2, the magnitude is 10,000. So this is N1, this is N2. So here, which one is greater? N2 is greater than N1. U1 is greater than U2, but N2 is greater than N1. So U1 and N1, they are reciprocal to each other. If U1 is small, N1 is small. If u2 is less, n2 will be more. They are related to each other in this way. Thank you.